Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I wanted to talk quickly about this hair that I am currently wearing. Um, a company sent me this hair and asked me to install it and do a quick review. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. This hair can be found on Amazon. The hair is called 24 inch passion twist hair 7 packs water wave crochet hair. 22 strands per pack for butterfly locks, goddess, long, bohemian, curl hair, synthetic braiding hair, extensions for women. Whew. <laughs> Why do they have to make the names of these hairs on Amazon so long? Like, how am I supposed to find it? But anyways, that is the name of the hair on Amazon. I will leave a screenshot <laughs> on the screen so you guys can see how it looks. The package comes with seven packs of hair and each pack comes with 22 strands. So that's 22 times seven, go do the math, and the hair is 24 inches long. Also, this hair can be used for passion twists, butterfly locks, goddess locks, and so on. So it's your regular passion twist hair. So this is how one pack of the hair looks and you get seven of these when you buy the hair. Here's the hair, it is very beautiful, I love it. So this part is like brown and then the ends are kind of like a goldish brown. So that's T30. I love the color of the hair, it is super long. What I did was to cut the hair in half. So I cut this gold part off and I took each strand out and I cut them in half. I wanted to do individual passion twists, but I decided just to do regular crochet braids. I even wanted to like do some parts in the front so that my hair, so that the hair would look like individual crochet braids, but I decided not to do that because I did not have enough time. So before installing the hair, I cut it in half as I mentioned before, and I also twisted the hair. Before installing it, I will insert a clip so you can see how how exactly I twisted the hair, how I prepared the hair, and how I installed the hair. Okay, so this is one strand of the hair. As you can see, it is very long. So what I did was just to find the middle of the strand and cut it in half. After cutting it in half, I would get one piece and just detangle the section a bit, ensuring that the ends are detangled. And then I would go back to the blunt section and just pull on it so it would be more uneven. It would be tapered at the ends like this. When you do that, the twist will not unravel. So for these twists, I started off by doing regular Senegalese twists right over left. All right, so you wanna twirl the right section to the right. After you do that, you wanna put it over the section on the left and then you will have the section on the left, on the right, you want to twirl it to the right and bring it over the section to the left and you just repeat. Twirl to the right, right over left. 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 And after doing that for about three or so inches, I would just go in with a regular two strand twist and that's what causes the twist to become curly. Let's talk quickly about the braiding pattern. So I did six cornrows going straight back. So for the six cornrows at the top, I did, you know, the X pattern so I can have my middle part and my two side parts. So this is the braiding pattern, as you can see, it is nothing fancy, it's just simple straight back cornrows. And for the back, I just connected everything and I also did two horizontal cornrows at the bottom. So that's it, I tried not to make the braids too tight because for 2021, we want our protective style to actually protect our hair and that is my aim. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I install the crochet twist. So you want to put your finger in the loop, go ahead and push your hook underneath the cornrow. Then you attach the braid in here, close the hook, pull that hook gently through your cornrow. Then you take the hair off the hook, open the loop and you pull the hair through. And I'm going to do that twice. So make a double knot and that's how it's done. So as you can see, the two knots are 
on top right here and that is okay because I'm not gonna be wearing my hair in the middle that much so it doesn't matter if the knot is on top if I had pushed the crochet hook this way then the knots would be underneath right here so it would be a bit more bulky here but that's okay I'm going to fill in the rest off camera if you want to see a more detailed tutorial and on how to install your crochet braids I will leave a video in the cards that you can check out I will also leave the link to that video in the description box so you are free to go ahead and watch that video if you want to have a better idea of how to install your crochet braids uh, this is how the hair looks right now I love how curly the twists are I didn't know what to expect when I started twisting this hair but I absolutely love how it turned out I am not finished I have this part left to do and I have some in the middle to finish up but I just wanted to quickly show you the hair normally I would wash my crochet braid in hair but this time I did not wash it the hair didn't have a scent or anything so that was good to know it's currently on Amazon for $33.68 and there is also a $2 coupon available right now so you so hopefully if you decide to buy it you will be able to use that coupon the hair came probably two days after I ordered it so that didn't take long at all the package also came with a crochet hook and and some of these you know these little bees that you you would put in your crochet braids that's the hair I will leave a link in the description bar for you guys to be honest I really wanted to do like <laughs> an invisible part in at the front but oof, I don't know I'm gonna be wearing my hair up for work anyways because I cannot wear my hair on my shoulders so to be honest, I was <laughs> I was a bit nervous about the color because I'm not used to wearing colored hair, but you know, it's okay. I like it. So the front doesn't look too crazy. I can pull it back. I can do a side part. I can do a side part on both sides actually. So the color is just oh, beautiful. I forgot to show you how the bat looks, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. <laughs> so if you like how this hair is looking, let me know in the comment section and don't be afraid to like comment on my videos. I will respond to you. I always find the time to respond whenever people comment on my videos. Give this video a thumbs up also and I will see you in my next video. Bye.